Yes, this is what we were discussing. This is the suprasternal view of the aorta, and you have taken the cursor on the PDA and the descending aorta. So predominantly we are focusing on the descending aorta at the junction of the PDA and then you can go on proceeding for the whatever the length of the PDA you can get. So length of the descending aorta you can get. Now they put the cursor on the descending aorta distal to the PDA that is very important. See that in a normal like even if you put the arch here you have put the cursor on the arch of aorta and you will see that this is the systolic flow in the, uh, the uh, aorta and there is a slight diastolic flow also. You can see that this is the diastolic flow and this is forward it is not at all backward because see, at any time of the uh, cardiac cycle that the blood get into the diastolic flow will never get into the backward direction as in the AR but there is another condition where you will get a diastolic flow reversal or backward flow retrograde flow that is in the PDA so now it is a normal thing which we are saying in the we have put the cursor in the uh, arch of aorta proximal to the PDA so there is a forward flow in the systole and forward flow might forward flow in the diastole also but when you see here you have put the cursor in the descending aorta distal to the PDA and you can see that the systolic flow is there and there is light diastolic flow or there is no actual diastolic forward flow you can see but to be particular when this when we have done for a severe PDA, large PDA, massive PDA, non-restrictive PDA, you can see that there is a systolic flow in the descending aorta and a beautiful reversal or retrograde flow into the descending aorta or towards the arch of aorta or towards the cursor in the diastole. It only means that there is a uh, shunt of the blood into the other circulation which is nothing but the pulmonary circulation through the pulmonary duct of patent ductus arteriosus and the shunt is so big that even the some of the blood of the descending aorta is getting back and shunted into the uh, pulmonary circulation and pulmonary circulation is it also means the pulmonary circulation is not yet getting that much of the systemic blood pressure or uh, pulmonary pressure, hypertension is not yet there so there is a huge reversal of the flow into the uh, diastole into the pulmonary circulation but one way it means that it is a non-restrictive big PDA and also it means that the patient can undergo surgery to occlusion or the closure of the PDA.